This video shows how to perform a correlation test. So basically, there are uh, two types of correlation tests. First is the parametric correlation, which is a Pearson correlation. Okay, so first one is Pearson correlation. And the second one is a Feynman correlation. So the main difference is that uh, we need to check uh, the assumption of each of these two tests. For Pearson correlation, it's a parametric test, so we need to check the normality of the data. If the data is not normally distributed, then we need to use a Spearman. But the command line for these two analyses is very similar. So first thing first, we explore our data. Okay. So we have a few data, so we can check how the data look like. Okay. So basically, we have 10 observations and 3 variables. So the first one is a student ID, the second one is the body height, so this is in CM, and also the shoe size. Okay, so this, and we need to check in table, so make sure it's correct. So this is the data that we have. And then the next thing we need to do is to check the normality of the data. So what we need to do, we need to check the normality. So it's good to put a node here, just put hashtag. So this will not be run. Okay, this is not a script, this is just a node. Let's say we use a Shapiro test for normality. So the, this, the comment is this. Okay, so you don't need to install any uh, software. Okay, this is a built-in function, so you don't need to use any extra package or software. So this is a built-in function, so it's a Shapiro test, and our data is shoe data. Okay, and within shoe data, we have different column, right? So we need to choose the first one, the body height. Just put the dollar sign, and then just click run. So here you see the p-value is larger than zero. 0 0.05 so that means that we, uh, we accept the null hypothesis which the data set for the body height is not uh, different from the normally distribution uh, trend okay then second one we can still do this for the second variable so this is the shoe size click run so again, this is larger than 0 0.05. So that means that this for, for these two variables, the data is normally distributed. Okay, so the data for these two variables are normally distributed. So the next thing is we need to perform the test. Of course, you can make a chart, you can make a scatter plot to show the trend. Okay. So this is shown in another video. So we need to perform the test. So let's say we try the first one. Pearson correlation. Okay, so we need to run the test so we can type. Correlation test. Okay, we can copy these two variables or we can type again. It's up to you. Shoot data. Okay, so this is a let me put the second one. Then we can click run. Okay, so what it shows is a Pearson correlation. Okay, so the default method is a Pearson correlation for this command. Okay, but we can change it later. So here you show the p value. So it shows there's a strong correlation, and this is a t value, this is a df value. We need to report all this. And then you have a co correlation coefficient. Okay, so this one is 0 0.84. Okay, the R is equal to 0 0.84. So even the data is, this one, in this case, the data is normally distributed. So let's say the data is not uh, normally distributed, we can use the experiment test as well. So it's the same command as this one. The only difference is the method. Okay, we need to change to and then click run okay so now this is a spamman rain correlation so you also show the significant result and the r is 0 0.81
add to. Okay, it's divided by add to. So if the data is normally distributed, okay, you need to check the normality. If you want to test for the uh, relationship between two variables, we need to check the normality. If the data is normal, we can use a Pearson. If the data is not normal, that means that the normal test, the p-value is smaller than 0 0.05, then we need to use a experiment.